Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com. Today I'm here with my wife, Sophia. Hi guys, Sophia here. <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do today is build these two new Swagtron e-bikes. We have the Swagtron EB1 and the EB5. Now, the EB1 kind of makes sense here. I can understand how there's a uh, e-bike in here, but look how tiny this box is for the EB5. They tell me there's an e-bike in here. I'm not sure I believe it, but we're going to find out. All right, let's build some bikes. Let's do it. Really pack these things in there. Yeah. Oh, yours is already practically built. <laughs> that was easy. Guess it's going to be a shorter video than we expected. <laughs> Let's uh, open these up. I'll bring in a uh, clipper. Oh, I went to get you the snipper and you're just already slicing away. <laughs> All the way in there. The user manual. That's the most adorable little e bike charger I've ever seen. <laughs> are you done? How are you done already? Almost. <laughs> So there's a trick to doing these pedals. Um, the L goes on the left side. Okay. And the R goes on the right side. Oh, that's a nice trick. No, but the, <laughs> the real trick is, <laughs> so one of these is, is backwards threaded. Um, I think it's the left hand side, but I can't remember. So basically you put the correct one on the correct side and then you turn them forwards, like towards the front of the bike for both sides. And that way, the one that's backwards threaded still gets tightened. Do I have to put the fenders on? <laughs> <laughs> Not the easiest thing to do. Okay, got some help. Installing the fenders, page 7. Attach two fenders over the front and rear wheels using the included bolts and wrench. Figure 5 and 6. Well, there you go. To install the fenders, simply install the fenders. Well, yours is the easy one. Oh, yeah, you got it. There you go. It's not bad. I mean, it's like, it's small, but it's it's not uncomfortable. It's just like, smaller. Yeah, mine like, has a very nice and comfortable seat, actually. Is it really? <laughs> Better than some of the other ones. <laughs> I, it's taken me years to find a seat that she will approve. <laughs> so we finally found, it only took like a, what is it, like a $480 e-bike to find the seat you like. Well, it is a nice seat. No, mine's not bad either. Yeah, that's the switch. I think I like that seat better though. No, mine's better. It's a little hard for you. No, yeah, but other than that, I think mine's better. So this one feels a little smaller. This is the EV1, right? Yeah, yeah, so this is the EV1. This one's a 250 watt motor. Actually, both of these are 250 watts. Uh, this one can only do 12 and a half miles an hour. It's about 20 uh, kilometers an hour. This one is faster. This one will do uh, 15 and a half miles an hour. It's like 25 kilometers an hour. And um, this one also has twice the range. This one has uh, 15 and a half mile range. This one is only, uh, I think it's yeah, 7 .5, 7 7.5 mile range. Um, so this is definitely like the smaller, the lighter one. Uh, how much does this weigh? This one is lighter than this though. No, I can't be. Yeah, when I was only not. Well, it actually might be. Yeah. So when I took this out of the box, it wasn't a, yeah. a tiny bit, but... So you took the heavy one out. Yep. Did you? Nice. 
36 pounds. 36, almost 37. Yeah, so they're like the same weight. That's interesting. That bell built into the handlebars? Yeah. Oh, your handlebars are a little flipped here. Let's put those back. Oh. There you go. <laughs> like that. That's alright. I mean, it's like it's a comfort thing. <laughs> yeah, if it's comfortable to ride like that, then, uh, you know, to, to each his or her own. I don't think yours is on. Yeah, but I, we don't have so much space here. Let's just take this. Come on, I can do it, I can do it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like the wheel of death. So we're going to do the full review on these bikes outside, and that's going to be on both Electrek's YouTube channel and on electrek.co, the uh, electric vehicle website I write for. So we're going to have a full review coming. And so far, they're pretty nice bikes. Um, this one definitely goes further and faster, but this one has integrated headlight, um, disc brakes, and is, I don't know, kind of, kind of neater. I don't know, I think I like the internal battery there. but. We'll, we'll test them out and get uh, all the specs for you guys, and that'll be in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.